All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up your remote collar for the way that we use it. I'm gonna show you what's, what comes in the box. This is the mini educator, the ET300. Most of the dogs that come in for training are end up on this remote collar. So you open up the box. There's a couple of really important things in this box. This is your remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. We've got a lanyard for your remote, which I'm gonna clip on to when we're done. The charger, I'm gonna leave that in the box for now, but this is also super important. Don't throw that away, you need that. And then this is the collar and the unit itself. I'm gonna show you how we change contact points in the collar strap in a different video. Uh, also in here are a bag with contact points and then a bag with some tools. I'll show you how we use these tools in a different video. Um, this little piece of plastic right here, this clear piece of plastic is a tester unit. If you think there's something wrong with your unit, you can always test it with this. And then of course, if you lift up the tray, there's this cute little thing called instructions. Please don't throw this away, guys. It's really important. I encourage everybody to read the instruction manual. All right, so for right now, I'm gonna set this stuff aside. I'm gonna show you how we program the remote collar. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to know how to turn the remote collar on. I'll make a separate video for this. You push this L button, it also says on off. So I'm gonna press and hold that, then it turns on and it says 1D. It's flashing at the top, that means it's a one dog unit. It's got an M here on the side and then a C on the other side and then it says zero. The way that we change the numbers is with this dial right here. We can go all the way up to 100, and when we reach 100, this is what displays on the screen. We go from 99, turn it down, we go from 99 to high, okay? So when you're changing your settings, make sure that your remote collar is on zero. Your collar itself does not have to be on. Now, here is what I do for every single remote collar. Um, actually, you do actually do turn it on, just kidding. Red to red. The unit turns green. So this little red dot here, little red dot there, that's how you turn the unit on. So this is on now. So it's flashing green to indicate that it's on and it has a good charge on it. So while these two things are on, I'm gonna show you what the button functions are. When the dial is turned up more than zero, so this is on three right now, the black S button, what this does when you first get the remote, the black S button just does a, a momentary tap. Okay, so no matter how long I hold my finger down, it's just a tap. The red S button, if you press and hold, will stay on until your finger comes off the button or after 10 seconds, it shuts off on its own. The T button stands for tone, um, but it also is set to vibrate. So when you first get your collar, when you push that T button, it's actually a vibrate on the collar. Now I'm gonna show you how to disable vibrate and when you go through the program, you'll realize why we disable the vibrate function because it is very intense. So that's actually the first thing I'm gonna do is disable vibrate. And how you do that is you just set the collar down, pick up your remote, and then you press and hold the L button and then the T button. And I'm gonna show you what happens when I do that. So pressing the L and then the T and holding them and then you hear a beep. Now what happens when I do that? What I've done is disabled vibrate and activated tone. So now T makes sense, <laughs> T for tone. So now when I press the T button, it tones, which can be a negative marker. You can teach tone to mean recall. All it is is just a noise. So then what you're gonna do is on the back of your remote collar, there's a little button that says M and C on it right next to the L. I want you to press and hold that button. First, one time, you press and hold. It'll give you a beep and then all of a sudden all you see is M there and the C goes away. So now what you've done to your remote is if you press the red button when the remote is on more than just one, so it's on six right now, black button, six stays on the screen. The red button, it's plus five of whatever is on, um, whatever your, your um, remote is on. So I don't like this feature because momentary is just a a quick little blip, you know, so you see this, no matter what, if I'm pressing and holding it, it only flashes for a second. What we're gonna do is set it to continuous. So that same button, you're gonna press and hold that button, press and hold the M and C button again until it beeps. Good, now it's on continuous. So the red, the black S button, when you press and hold the black S button, whatever number is displayed on your screen is the number that's gonna translate to your collar. Then if you press the red S button, whatever number is translated on the screen, jumps up by five, and that's what's on your remote collar. 
Also too, with the tone function, when you activate the tone, what happens is if you press and hold the tone function, it will beep, it will just make that continuous noise. And then when the noise stops, you'll notice that the light is still on the collar because now it's stimming the number. So I'll show you what that looks like. Noise, and now there's stim. And the stim eventually shuts off. I'll show you how long it takes for it to cancel out. I'm gonna keep my finger on the button. Takes a few seconds. And now it's off. So once it cancels out on its own, you know, then you have to apply the button again. Uh, that's a pretty long time. So if you accidentally press and hold the button, that's what's gonna happen. Um, there's another feature on this remote that if you toggle your dial, right, and then all of a sudden you feel like your numbers get stuck, it's because this is a lock feature. If you press and hold this at the top, now it's stuck on four, even if I'm turning it. So to disable that, all you have to do is press and hold again, and then it's on whatever number that I set it to by accident while I was turning the dial, okay? There's another cool feature on the remote collar I'll show you real quick. It's the light feature. So that L also stands for light. It says on, off, slash light. So if I press this button one time, what ends up happening is my remote collar turns into a strobe feature. It's like too bright for me. If I press it a second time, it stays on continuously and it does not shut off until I turn it on, until I turn it off. And all I'm doing is simply tapping that on, off button. Now, if you press and hold, this button, that, that on off button, the L, if you press and hold, no matter what number your collar is on, it's, it flashes OF and then it turns off. So that's how you save the battery in your unit. You just turn it off when you're not using it, turn it off when you take it off your dog. Now for the collar itself, it's activated by a magnet. This red dot is a magnet, so don't store your remote with your magnet collection. When you turn it off, all you simply do is red to red and it flashes red for a second and then it turns off. Okay, so that's how we turn it on and turn it off. That's how we program our remote collar for how I use them. Now, everybody uses them a little differently. For our DIY board and train program, this is how we have all the remote collars set. I don't ever change it. If I change it, I state that, um, but that would be really confusing. So this is how we set those remote collars.